Big Al's Tales from Under the Tinfoil Hat. <laughs> Yeah, you need. You just as need. As Blue Peter on. says, here's one I prepared earlier. But you watch because the thoughts will not come out original. No, oh, it's just stays at cloudy. Eh? Cloudy yeah. a wee bit. There we go. I'm looking in the fucking. <laughs> what you usually, usually like an old man's cap. I was going to say it's hey, like a fucking Tommy. Or Norman or Wisdom, <laughs> Mister Quim's dial. <laughs> oh right. no, that's Richie Shunak. Richie Shunak. <laughs> 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 So, Tales of the Tale... See? That's the one. Fucking hat's see? on again, I can't see it. It's, it's a mental it. thing. You've got to tune yourself to the <sighs> hat vibration. And then you say, tinfoil hat talk. It's like Peter piped a, pumped a pickled <laughs> pepper. See? Peter, Peter pumped in a pickled pepper. Aye. Pumped it for his tea. Aye, the pepper pucker. You've got the hat on, what do you Aye. need to know? Right, so, Alan... Your Just Another Monkey account on TikTok has been going for quite some time. Quite Months some time. Now, yeah. Why now are we wearing tinfoil hats, Neba? Why? What, what's going, just just for the sake of the, the start of this podcast, this one, what's the theory behind it? Because I've, I watch them and yeah, I watch your stuff anyway. So what what's put you into that? That train of thought, that, right, I'm going to do things a wee bit different. Because remember, everyone used to be the bridge. You're on my phone as the guy off the bridge. I've never changed that. And I never will change it now, yeah, you know, even yeah. though I know the story and I know your name. It's your Alan, the guy on the bridge. So tell us, why are we wearing tinfoil hats? Because of reality. <sighs> reality is shite. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a fucking nutshell uh, Boom, that's it, the yeah. end oh, Because I think now When you look at the reality And you look at the, the whole mm. 2020 thing And flying through And then macaroni Then the macaroni I'm fucking sauce. struggling even with the tinfoil oh, hat No, no, keep on, keep on, keep on Keep on, keep on, let's go Sorry, right, when you look at the reality <laughs> <laughs> It looks better from the front I'm going to get it full on though It's like, it's like the sleeve it's a work in progress. I know. But what that's it, you you're letting stuff in the back. You're just guarding I'm yourself. I'm just, it's just it, oh, because that's where they come in. They come in through the pineal gland. Through the pineal gland. The pineal thing. glands are built up. That's where the tinfoil, it, it comes yeah. in there. Because over the years, you wouldn't believe it, but I could mm. show you that many things that have happened and transpired within my life where somebody else has stolen a thought, and you're like, how do you fucking <laughs> get that? How <laughs> is that? Christine will show you. She'll yeah. validate it as well. Certain things happen, and people... Steal for you, and you're like, How can you steal my thoughts? I can't. Aye. Ten for Ten for hats. Hats. You so, can't yeah, fucking it's, get it's them. No, it's, yeah, it's no, um, it's not a new concept. I didn't Aye. come up with the idea, but the, the thought of having a conversation regarding tinfoil hats, yes, 100 fucking percent. Mm. Because to me, when I was younger and I used to smoke a lot of dope and I, I never abused any, any substances whatsoever, I mm. used them. There's a fucking difference, a difference, massive yeah. difference, and I used it. I used a lot to run away from my my, my traumas, my past, mm. um, my existing fucking scenario, wherever I was, and I would hide. And the with the hash, that allowed me to fucking really deconstruct. And mm. music was a big one. So under a tinfoil hat, I can tell you. That mm. the verbals that I would receive via music, which was mm. in the in the very beginning, it, um, it was Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, and the fucking stories they would tell me, and I would yeah. take that in and I would use it in a literal sense. I, I honestly, I didn't even just listen to the words and think, "Oh, that makes sense." Aye. No, if you don't know your past, you'll never know your future. Yeah, if you didn't know where you come from, you're never going to know where the fuck you're going. I understood that, but I would break it even further as Aye. to why are you telling me that. Where did the original idea come from? Did you write that? If you did write it, where did the thought come from? Well, I was just sitting by the river one day. Aye. That then takes you through the veil, really? which is where the tinfoil hat comes in because I want people to talk beyond reality because reality is just shite. It's just fucking rubbish. Mm. There is more that happens beyond this <laughs> reality that a lot of people, when you touch on, they'll Aye. not talk about it for the taboo thing. If you think, remove... No, so much remove the hat, but remove the stigma that was surrounding clairvoyancy, Aye. tapping into otherworldly Aye. things, using herbal remedies. Aye. Oh, you, you fucking! You're in league with Lucifer, you're a witch. You're a witch. burn that bastard! <laughs> <laughs> 
Take him down the drink and drown the cunt. Aye. If he survives, set him on fire. Aye. He if he dies, he was all right. He was all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's fine. Aye. So everyone went under a tinfoil hat. Aye. So now I'm kind of like tinfoil hat talks. Boom. Boom. I'll remove the hat and I'll Aye. tell you exactly where my thought fucking process comes from. I'm taking mine off and all that. When I was younger... I raked the boot inside my mind that fucking much that I reckon I found a box and inside the box was a seed. Mm-hmm. And that seed, I nurtured that seed. I let it see the light and the light that would it would start to grow and it would allow me to venture in and question things, deconstruct things. Mm-hmm. And the mere information that I brought in, this fucking thing grew and grew and grew. And this is... This is, I, I didn't make shit up, James. I never no, no, have, and no. I never fucking will. There's no point. It's fucking, no. I'm 52, fuck's sake. Uh-huh. I take you to go out a fucking liar now. No. But during that whole deconstruction thing and allowing this thing to grow, if you see anything that I do and anything I talk about where I find things, mm. things come to me really easily. That is where seed will sway me. So if you imagine a tree and it'll blow that way or it'll Aye. blow that way, my head will blow that way and I'll see a ten pound note. It'll Aye. blow that way and I'll bump into a friend. It's that whole synchronous day thing, the serendipitous moments mm-hmm. they all stem for this thing. It was a plant that's all it fucking was inside my mind and that's all I knew it as. I go boom to an age and somebody says to me, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the pineal gland. The what? Aye. The pineal gland. What the fuck is that? Well it's this tiny wee thing inside your head, da 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 da. It's a uh. fucking seed. Oh, now you're having a fucking giraffe. How the fuck does it take this long to actually get a label? When I was younger, mm. there was uh, on the glue. Again, induced mind, that's fine. I don't care. I know that my mind, when it went, you're, you're out. I would come back three hours later. You're back in the room. See where I went during that three hours. I know I crossed over to the other side. But the one thing you cannot do is you cannot bring it back. You yeah. can't bring yeah. fuck all back. I just know where I was now, you uh, fuckers. So all explain the, time, the other side. The other side to you. What, what it's was not the, other the other side, side to me? It's the other no. side of life. It's life. where we go when we die. If you didn't right. believe in or anything, it's mm-hmm. not none of the religion. Religion's a lot of fucking shit. Again, made by yeah. who? The manipulator <laughs> and the narcissist. It's man's Man, fucking world. Yeah. Man's world. Man's how gods. Can the, how man's... can the fucking Vatican be worth as much as it is and claim for you know? Oh da 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 da. We want for God. Oh, so he wants homeless people. He wants people starving. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're worth a fucking fuck off. Uh, you stupid man. Okay, yeah. It's under the hat, and you you've yeah. we've removed the hat. So I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah, that's it. But go back. What, what was the what was the question? What, what did you just say? Oh, where there? where did they? Uh, the other, what is the other side to you? What is your other side? Right. Mm-hmm. My other side is that in life, mm-hmm. I have done so much and life has tried to pull me down. Mm-hmm. And it showed me everything that was within Shit Creek that is fucking hell. No fucking doubt about it. Bob Marley would tell me as a hash smoker, you think you're in heaven, but you're fucking in hell. Yeah. And I'm like, when I look about me, I smell death, I smell shite, I smell fucking sick, I smell all this fucking stuff that taints my fucking very being. Never mm. mind my clothes, I know that this is hell. I get into conversations and fights with individuals where I know, I know the individual, boom, they become somebody else. We've yeah. had the conversation, one day you're this, and you are just a person. We have a clashing, mm. and I become... The, the alpha male. So, yep. brr, I've won. Okay, smashing. Fast forward a couple of weeks, we, you're with your pals. You then mm. become an alter ego. And you're like, well, what happens? Have you changed? Have you become mm-hmm. somebody else? Something possesses them, and that's where the the, the whole devilly thing comes from. Right. So, no, I would never preach religion to anyone at all. Uh-huh. Mine's is a spiritual belief. Yes. Is it a belief in life beyond this? Yes. Is there a grand creator? I think there must be. And mm. if you get this one, it's the sore of seeds. I've already tell you the pineal yeah, gland was a seed. seed. So yeah. somebody put that seed in there. Somebody mm-hmm. planted the seed inside my head. Mm-hmm. That's as good as that gets. So when I go out, I go over, I bent my mind that much mm-hmm. that then it just went bang. And then I come back. I know I've been, but I don't know where I've went. So right. all the people that I'm talking about, they've all passed away. Mm-hmm. They've all went to the other side. Mm-hmm. 
my mind would go over there and see them. I saw Purgatory when I was 14, 15 year old. Right. And that's where the wheels come from. Uh-huh. The doodles, the, the paint. doodles, aye. You'll see them, they're there everywhere. The wheels were these things that the the soul, it's like that, that bag. Mm-hmm. It's not attached to that wall behind it, it's attached up there on a hook. Aye. Well, the, the soul of an individual was against that wheel and it was the slowest spinning fucking wheel and it would go up and down and I was under a bridge. Mm-hmm. And again, fast forward, my wife says to me, oh, you didn't talk under bridges. Why? Well, it's my bad luck. Because the deed can hear you. Oh. I never knew that. Right. I was 14 and I'm there and I'm looking and I'm talking to my granny. <laughs> my granny's there. I can see her. There's a guy coming round. But they, they can't uh, turn to each other. They can't uh, have a conversation. Uh, and the person that's spinning past you that way, you're going to pass them. It's it's, it's constant. They're just constant. very slow. And to me, the purgatory is that you go and you reflect. So if if the um, super nanny, right, he's being a naughty fucker, go and sit in the naughty step, bastard. Uh-huh. This is the naughty step for grown-ups. If you missed it the first time round, <laughs> going round for again. a fucking eternity until you realise what it is that you were supposed to have picked uh. up, shall we say? So that's one instance. The guy that was there was my grandfather, and you would think, well, that's 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 glue arm. That's what can do. It can make you loosen it. You can conjure up things. You've got a, a, an exciting imagination. Mm. I never met my grandfather, uh. but I seen him, and he was there, and I thought, oh, I kept that, and I kept that in myself the very first time. I saw a big massive set of stairs and where I was I heard the noise and this was the very first time I'd smashed my mind and somebody shouted my name and I went out and I looked that way it was nothing I looked that way and there was this big massive white marble staircase so again you can have fluffy cows yeah, and God or whoever yeah, well, uh-huh. somebody was up there calling me and I said fuck you I'm no <laughs> coming and that's where the monkey came in because we swapped places there uh-huh. and for where that was and where I was at the time, I turned and looked left. That was up the old railway line at um, Pilton and West Canton. That was looking towards the castle. Mm-hmm. See where I saw Purgatory was at the bridge there to my right. About 100 yards that way. I was in between heaven mm-hmm. and hell as far as I was concerned. Purgatory was what it was. Mm-hmm. So the speaking under the bridge thing, I didn't know that until years and years later. I'm doing the college course, saying, right, fuck you, I've beat the demons, that's me, I'm, I've am i still mm-hmm. got all this delusional thought, it's all uh-huh. there, I didn't talk about it anybody, because I can I can justify it with the glue. Right. Oh, you say that you saw purgatory, you're a lying bastard, I'll be sniffing glue at the time. That's fine. Uh, I know yeah. what I believe, and if you've done the, the detector on me, you would spot it as well. I didn't fucking lie. Know mm-hmm. his purpose. I'm doing the college course, and I'm typing away, and the guy, he's doing his typing thing, and da-da-da. He's a, a helper type guy. Boom, his screensaver come up. I said, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. That's uh, it's just a screensaver. Oh, no, what's the picture? It's Dante's Inferno. Who the fuck is Dante's Inferno? Mm-hmm. Dante's Inferno is where Dante goes on a wee trip down through <laughs> the, the levels. Aye. And I'm looking at what I saw. The only thing that was different was it wasn't the wheels. But mm-hmm. he's looking at all these other parts and I'm thinking, that's uh, fucking weird. That's strange. So it, it sent me on a wee crusade to have a look at all these pictures. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the educational side. So you're digging up the plants, making me look over there. Uh, or because before, I never knew pineal gland then. Pineal gland's a new thing a to new me. Thing. The seed, the plant, that's mine's. Nobody else can corrupt that. And again, mm-hmm. it's the backwards way of fucking learning that I, I find out the names too far down the line. At a certain part of the railway, there was this one area, and for me to have an induced mind and tell you about it, you can maybe conjure up a picture of what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. For you to see what I'm seeing as a hallucination, that's a fucking trick and a half. Day uh, uh. before he's all four saw the same thing, and it's the serpent. The serpent I can draw, mm-hmm. no boiler at all, I can shut my eyes, I can see it, I can see it with my eyes are open. It's no, it's no snake. There's no danger. And I refer to this thing as wisdom. It scared the fucking shit out of me. Uh-huh. And I crushed its seed one time. This thing tried to get me in a big sense. Um, terrifying. But again, a hallucination. Uh-huh. So you've got to have that. I then fast forward years and years later. Uh-huh. And I gave it a name because it wasn't a snake. It wasn't a dragon. It had the head of like a, a bull terrier. 
um, like a, a pit bull or something like that, almost like a lion's kind of, he'd big massive incisor teeth at the front, whiskers, mm. and these two things that come out above its ears, like wee antennas. Aye, aye. But if you pitch a long tough at grass, you c- I could stare at it, and it'd be tough at grass, and this one, it would almost just blink. Aye. That was it. it fucking, it, it merged into everything. But it wasn't, it, no, when the dragons, that the Chinese day, it looks like that, aye. but they have feet. Aye. This thing doesn't have, doesn't feet. have feet. See, its tail is about, maybe about the length of that bayonet. Aye. It can cut stone. This is what I saw, and I saw it cutting stone. I could go away uh-huh. and think, fucking hell, that was weird. Oh, that was weird. Go back hours later and see marks. <laughs> and honestly, uh, it, it just bit. fucked your head. So uh, where yeah. the, the um, where did I go? I go to where these places are. And it was another realisation years mm. and years later that this thing was the chimera. A chimera is a mixture of things. And uh-huh. then... The, then they'll tell me things about the Kundalini, which is inside you. It's this serpent thing serpent, that runs. Uh, you're like, holy fuck, where's this? I saw this then, and then people tell me the educated stuff later, uh-huh. and it makes sense because it's what I've already seen. I just right. didn't know what it was. So mine's is original. Theirs has always been. So it's again, it's what came first, the chicken or the egg. Uh-huh. I seen it. I didn't know what it was, and then somebody tells me ten, twenty, thirty years later what it is, and you're like, "That's fucking weird." <laughs> so all that is inside and under the tinfoil hat because I didn't talk about it. This is, mm. my wife will know various bits, and I'll tell other people various things about it. But this is the first time I've ever really aired that to anybody that yeah. wants and cares to fucking listen to it. Mm-hmm. So the, the the chimera, that's one thing. When I eventually realised, hang on a minute. This thing used to scare the shit out of me. It was out to get me. No, it wasn't it. Mm. It never once harmed me. It gave me an education. It let me see fear and understand fear for what it was. It's mm. a fucking illusion. It's no real. Uh. What was real? The manipulator and uh-huh. the narcissist. Man. Man, man fucking hurt me. Man fucking tried to kill me. Yep. Man fucking hit me with a gun in the face. Mm. Man stabbed me in the leg. Man abused me as a young fucking boy. Yeah. Man corrupted me and lied to me as a father figure. You can start to see where, why I would go to the other side. Go to the other side. I yeah. know what's in the other side, but I can't bring it back with me. Right. That's why when it comes to, right, uh, give your name and your details and 25 quid and I'll do you a reading. Aye. No, you're fucking. No, you're going to make something up, pal. Aye. You're going to tap into something that isn't real. Because trust me, anything that's went over to the other side, they know what's over there. Aye. They're no coming back. Aye. Why the fuck would you come from heaven and go into hell? Aye. You would need to be a right thick bastard. Aye, totally. So I've never ever saw anything beyond that, hmm. and I've kept it all under the tinfoil hat. Under the tinfoil hat. So do dolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots and lots and lots. I can vouch for them. There is fucking, in my that, opinion, that books there weeks and fuck. days and months and years potentially of doodles. Where, when did you start doodling, Alan? Was it? When did you start doodling? Like time factor, because we've went through your whole life and we've been in and out and we've we've glossed over certain areas, times and back backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So doodling. When did that start? It is. It, it's Bearing in mind you, that your you told us that your glue thing was fourteen, am I right? Fourteen, well, definitely one hundred percent. So your first I time you totally went flexed. over was, I would have said it was maybe beforehand because right. again I started secondary. Mm. I went to Ainsley Park in um, nineteen eighty two, right. and I met the, the 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 guy who was to introduce me to that. You've got to remember, I'd already mm-hmm. had my demons with a paedophile, and I was struggling right, then. So you're about 12 and 82. And 12 and yeah, 82, 100%. Aye, 50 aye. January, that's how every, aye, aye. every year I can get it bang on to my bang birthday, because I, I yeah. know what it was. It started <laughs> in a, a zero number, right. so it's easy. Um, so 82, I went to first year, right. and I know for a fact, before I was 14, I would have definitely had... Went into that path 100%. Right. But the things I'd done at the age in 1984, which mm. again, Mr. Orwell's fucking Orwellian, I never read any of that shit, but I, no. can, I can, I could almost tell you what's in it without even reading it. Without even or reading re- it. Watching a movie. Aye. Because my life has been as much as a movie. But so back to the doodles then. Doodles. Yes. After? Or were they always a part of you? Well, that's, that's what I was, I was mm. trying to Sorry. Get to aye, aye. No, no. Aye. The, the, the love for drawing. Mm-hmm. I can lose my fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Keep that there. Yep. 
and then a drawing. Where my mind gets taken over because it's lost is when I start doing the hieroglyphic stuff that I look at and I think, what the fuck is that? Because I do not start, I do not have a starting point, I do not have a finishing point, I don't know what I'm drawing, it happens. It's not a guided thing, I don't think, I just don't know where it comes from. But the things that I'll draw, I mean all the doodles that you get to see are, those are pretty fundamental in the room. Uh. Like, like the wee man, the wee man yeah. behind the wall is a theme now. And yeah. I love the idea of it because there's the flats and the trauma and torment of the flats. You know what the story is behind that. Yeah. That that picture as it stood was just that magnifying glass. Mm. I'd, I'd adopted you that. I that. just drew I... that in there and it stopped. There is danger behind there and we are under scrutiny. We're constantly under... I mean, there's 1984 and Mr Orwell with the cameras and everything there. Right. We're constantly yeah. being watched. We're trapped. We're not allowed to... I'm not supposed to get out of that. No. I go out, and I broke out of it a long, long time ago. Uh-huh. So, and some of the doodles, you would look at them because you've only seen so many. So You'd many, look at them and be like, oh, for fuck, what the fuck does that mean? And to me, they're almost hieroglyphic. And mm. I, again, if you were to force me and say, oh, where do they come from? I'll tell you, they come from the other side. Right. I have that many friends over that other side because not one of them offended me. That's because they're dead. So right. when I... Then he converse with them. But mm. I go and I visit where they are laid to rest and mm. I do talk to them. Mm. They just didn't talk back in the physical sense. So I didn't hear voices, mm. but I do converse with these people. And when I talk about a friendship um, and an investment into these people, they're on the other side. They're over there. And that's why they didn't come back because they've understood the game. And I know... I've visualised so many things that I can only say is the... It's like a transcript of what's on the other side. It shows me things and I see it and I think, fucking dirty bastards. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're not laughing at me, no. but they're laughing that I'm still here and they're like, you're an arsehole. Oh, you <laughs> should have left a long time ago. <laughs> and it's no now because in that last podcast where I was saying, what's a five-year plan? It's a race, and it's a race till the fucking end. I'm no stopping. Mm. I, everything prior to 2020 was me in training. Right. Absolute fucking training for the last leg, the final chapter, and I'm running towards the gates. I literally, I mm-hmm. want to see what's there, but I'm no fucking walking away mm-hmm. for this. No chance. No. Because as far as I'm concerned, it was a game, and it was a battle, and it never fucking won. So if there's a reward, I want it now. And I want to share it with other people. Mm. So under the tinfoil hat, everything that's in there, I would love to share with other people. Because when I talk to you right mm. up to this point, you've understood what I've said, irrespective mm. of anybody else that's watching. Well, I've got something for you and thinks, no, he's a fucking idiot, but he makes sense when I look mm. at these things. I'm willing to give everything away now because yeah. that's that's my, no, that's it's not my calling. It would be my calling card. If I check right. out now, you said, you know what, that cunt did literally make a mark on me. Right. He'd done something that made me force a thought that I never really, no, you had it, mm-hmm. you just didn't open it up. So if that's your box, because Pandora, I used to think it was a nice thing, Pandora's box, until I actually somebody informed me years ago um, what is actually in there. And it's when you open that fucking door to all this rubbish and then you go to then take in the devil and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. I reckon that that's done in. Mm. Where I'm saying that we walk through the veil of life, the curtain that was there, It's all you need to do is watch the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy mm. and all the Bampots, they all end, end up there. Yeah. I want a heart. Well, you've got one. Uh-huh. I want that. You've already got it. Everything's there. People uh-huh. just didn't see it. And what's there? An illusion. It's a trick. It's a guy. Where is he? It's behind a curtain. What's uh-huh. the curtain? The curtain is the veil. What's the veil? It's the thing that splits reality mm. from real. Because what is real? Because the reality that is being perpetuated mm. on us right now, it's not fucking Can real. Feel. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Macaroni, cheese sauce, stay in the house, wear a mask, go out the house, then you go out the house, stay in the house, uh. take the mask off, put the mask back on. What? No. People are confused. Why are they confused? Because it's not real. It's fucking, it's fake. It's the fakest reality you're ever going to get. So yeah. now people are now thinking, this country is time for that actually makes a lot more fucking sense than the reality that I'm living. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. I'm not doing this anymore. 
So yes, the tinfoil hat stuff, that's where it comes from. Mm -hmm. The doodle stuff to me is almost hieroglyphic. And I look at it and I stare at it and I'm thinking, what the fuck are you saying? What are you doing here? You lose yourself in the when you're I drawn. Lose, you're just gone. Gone. And like it's See, Chris, it's, 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 it's one of the bobs at the door saying, Dad's dinner. Dinner time. 100%. Right? Bang, bang, bang. Dad, I, I, you know, they're sitting in the same room, but they've got to bring me back. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I go. So, and that's what I'm saying. When I used to induce my mind, right? Now, Christine will tell you this, and I've mm -hmm. said it for a long, long fucking time. I didn't see why I have to induce my mind to go and see what's there. Yeah. And then I come back and I can put it into hallucination and everything else. So if if telepathy was a thing, why do you have to induce my mind to do that? Because again, if you if we're staying in that mm -hmm. in that induced world, I've done that. And the person I've done it with could, because they are alive, but I will never talk to them, mm -hmm. they will tell you that that happened. They saw life through my eyes. Right. It just I just say to them, right. Shut your eyes, and when I say to you, open your eyes, just open your eyes. They opened their eyes, and they were looking at their self. Mm -hmm. I know that because I was looking at me. They, they swapped yeah. without moving. Very strange. Uh -huh. And again, it could be trickery. It could be sorcery. I don't fucking know. My mum's mum was a tea leaf reader. So, right. yeah, I can maybe communicate. I don't know. I didn't can. I, mm -hmm. I have no validation for it whatsoever. All I have is glue. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I saw and felt Everything, every mm -hmm. fucking part of it, to the extent that I believe it more than I believe the reality that I live in. Mm. But that and now you're one, still seeing it. That yeah. tiny bit bit is that I was sniffing glue. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't sniff glue when I fucking draw these pictures, no. but I go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And, that and then it comes story, out on the paper. It's there. Aye. And I look at it and I think, fucking hell, I can read stuff that I've written and I'm mm -hmm. like, that's not mine. Yeah. I never wrote that. I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. Again, it's it's what's um, it's what's waiting for mm. me on the other side, and yeah. I know that there is rewards are plentiful because I've never been a bad person. I don't do badness. I, no. I, no intentionally, no fucking danger. If somebody was to say, "Oh, but oh, you done that to him," you would need to then go ask him why I done that, uh. and they would justify it and legitimise because I do. I can't go to sleep at night. And if you ask me now, Alan, how do you sleep? I sleep like a fucking baby. Uh. So where it comes to anything that happened past ends before my life, before my time, that men could do certain things or women could do certain things, I'm quite happy that telepathy, communications with the other side, being able to cross that border was all there, and then mm. the manipulator come along. Boom, shut the fucking door. Shut the curtain. Board that fucker up and don't let them through there again because they can see through us. Uh. We let the car medic wheels turn. They turn, they turn, they turn. Then you get to 2020 and rest <laughs> restore the uh. vision. So now, I then not have to induce your mind uh. to convince you of something because your mind is open enough and wide enough that the seed is planted, it's cracked, it's open, it's yours. It's uh, no fucking mine's. I never put it in there. Yeah. You can now say with straight eyes, can I tell you what? Oh, you're a fucking idiot. But I, I, uh, I do I do resonate with what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of what you've told me, you've shared with me, and, and there is the moments when I'm like, holy fuck. You know, uh -huh. that, that is exactly fucking what's happening. You know, it's no like, I, I sometimes think, should fucking just ask Al because I'll get the answer straight away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need to sit and ponder this. I just need to pick up the phone. And mm. sometimes that happens where I day phone you and we have a chat and I'm like, right, okay, that's fucking sorted. That. But, but every They're, time I'll tell you aye. is where you're sitting as you are right now. Mm -hmm. Just go like that. Change, change your perspective. Your perspective. Yes. That's it. Just change your position. I right? actually you wanted to hit on that differently. in the last well, podcast because there from. was a situation where I changed the view of a situation and I ended there wasn't an that argument worked, eh? but it, it worked it <laughs> fucking worked and someone actually because I just moved they started to see what I was saying whereas I was in another position I'm trying to tell and it was like you know it was like just going over their head oh, that's it. I swapped said it again and it sunk in and they started it bizarre it's works. A, it's just it a, works. And again, where did I get that? Feed? Was it a book? Was it a mm. movie? Was it a song? Was it? Was it? No, it's yeah. me working out for working myself. I I done it my whole fucking life. Mm. If I didn't feel comfortable in the situation, I'll move, and that's all I'll do. I'll just shift mm. and change the perspective. So if you're not letting me into your eyes and tell mm. me what's there, I'll move. 
and, and then, then I'll try another way and I'll try another way. But all the time, it's again, it's yeah. that trickery. Watch my hand. Keep an uh-huh. eye on my hand. All the time, <laughs> this one's playing games. It's, it's just fascinating the way it happens. And that's <clears> where tinfoil hat talks would come from. Mm-hmm. Because I believe in this. I believe in it so fucking much that the doctors couldn't get what, what I've gave mm-hmm. you in the last mm-hmm. 30 minutes. Aye. I have never given any of the medical profession in my fucking life. Yeah. Why? Because they would medicate me and turn it off. Ask my wife. My wife has been there for 25 years. This year mm-hmm. is 25 years. That's quarter of a fucking century. Half of your life mm-hmm. I've been with my wife. Mm. She'll tell you, oh, she'll back it up. That this isn't the, no, if it is delusion, it doesn't matter because the asshole's been delusion all this time. The 25 yeah. years that she's known me. I never told her in the beginning. It took a long time for me to tell her, but I'd, I'd explained to you. When I opened up, it was like opening Pandora's box. But I don't think you're delusional. I don't actually think hope, you're no. delusional. I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think you're making anything up or, or, you're, that, or it's 100%. just a thought process. I really didn't. I, I, I see the the weight and the wealth behind it. And I'm not alone. There's so many people on TikTok see the weight and the wealth behind it. Uh, G, for one, another guy in mm. a similar boat to myself. You know what I mean? You've helped both of us. They are set, see the fucking light if you like, you know what I mean? It's a, it, of the you, simplicity of it all. Exactly. Yeah. It's so fucking simple Aye. is this game. When you realise that you're in a game. Yes. If you're in a psychological fucking battle for somebody to take mm. over your mind and you think this is just a game. Aye. When you realise that it's a game, you can't be beaten. No. Why? Because the other person thinks they're playing you and you're like, But but I know it's a game, so you can't beat me. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking game. It's no real. Yeah. And once you know that, that that to me is the, the the one fundamental trigger that if you look at it all and you think, but this is just, you're you're playing with my mind, you're trying to play a game mm-hmm. on me, you're trying to play a trick on me. Mm-hmm. No, is this snakes and ladders? You know what the snakes are and you uh, know how to climb. Uh, uh. I, no, when I go into the professional world, and again, it's the, the, the validation, uh, I'm a daft, I'm a thick, I'm a stupid, I'm a mentally ill, I'm a retarded, I'm a brain damaged, I'm a drug-induced psychosis, all of these things. You know what one thing I am? It's fucking me for the start to yeah, the fucking to the end. I do not change. I'll hide and I've hidden my entire fucking life because society, the medical profession, they do not see what you're seeing right now. They've yeah. never seen it. So where I would say to my wife 40 years ago, I fucking wish that you no know, people could see without having to induce their mind. Because if, yeah. if I was to give you acid 15 years ago... Aye. I'd show you what I see, and you would be like, oh, fucking hell, oh, this is fucking, this is weird, this is real. Uh, now, you're seeing what I'm seeing uh, through your own fucking eyes. There's no medication, there no. is no acid, there is no glue, there's no need for it at all. No. And if you can stare at the words in there, the doodles mm. in there, and get something from it, how the fuck have I managed to do that? And I know that yeah. obviously Irvin Wells can write your story and take you somewhere on a journey that you create it in your mind. Aye. But is that his intention? When he's describing a room, are you seeing the room that he's seeing as he's describing it? I don't mm. know. And that's the whole point is it's to open your mind so that you then look at life with a different perspective. Yeah. Change shoes, put somebody else's shoes on, come out of your shoes and walk around them and look at them from the other side and see yourself standing there. I've done these things over and over. Why? Because inside my mind has been the loneliest fucking place on this planet. Mm-hmm that I have to go out with this planet to find the solace that I required as a youngster. And I've done it ever since. Now I can go into a doodle. And uh, way over there again. Uh, I come back and I look at what they've done because it's like I go into autopilot mm-hmm. and it's like, well, it's just, no, like in the film Ghost, where she's saying, they're oh, me, oh, me, or something. And then the, uh, the yeah, spirit yeah, yeah. jumps in. Uh, that seems to be on a lot of it. I'm like, oh, where the fuck did that come from? I didn't uh, even get it myself. I look at it, I can see now, and again, it's that oneness. I've become one with it all, Aye. everything. And it's no the, the the guru going up into the, the top of the mountain and finding the, no, fucking, what do they call it? Enlightenment, divine enlightenment and all the rest of it. I've had everything that I've had all this time. Yeah, I've just never shared it because as I've shown time and time again, the manipulator yep. is just a horrible thing and it wants it for self-gain. Whereas you didn't want nothing for me, not no. a fucking thing. And it, no, it's no in a derogative sense that I didn't want anything for you. The companionship is enough. Aye. When you're a monkey inside your own fucking head and somebody comes in that can talk to you, yeah. bang, you're in. 
Now look at what I do for a living. Mm-hmm. You know the intricate parts of the detail. Yeah. Bang, I am in. Yeah. And I've done it time and time again. And it works and it benefits the other individual. And I know that I have always benefited other individuals because they can get something for me where I didn't want anything for them. No. And it's no about, oh, it's nice to be nice. You don't give to receive and da 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 da. No, very every, little phases you. That's what I've noticed in the time that I've known you. Very little. Very little has you up or down because you're yeah. thinking about it all the time. You're deconstructing it as you do. You're so, going back and saying, why did that? It's very fucking clever. It's when, but, yeah. that, but again, it's no what, delusional. What, well, Far that's, that's the one. And it's, it. it's so fucking nice and so reassuring mm. when somebody says, oh, you're no delusional. You're no mad. You're no fucking nuts. You're no yeah. off your head. You're no this, that, and the other. Because man has mm. told me I am. Mm-hmm. When your own father, your own alleged genetic fucking you know, um, mm. strand, the builder of the blocks of humanity tells you, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, you're fucking daft. You then start, you know, you only need it a couple of times to uh, then start believing it yourself. And think, am I? Uh, am, I? am I the idiot that paid 36 quid to take a Mensa test to see if I was daft? The monkey inside <laughs> me then says, what the fuck are you doing? You could have bought hash with that, you rage. Uh, you could have went and done something else with that. But no, no, I'm proving a point. Am I proving a point to myself? No, because I didn't need to prove anything to my no. fucking self. I'm proving it to this fictitious character that wasn't even real in my own fucking life. Mm-hmm. Hence, he's no my dad. So that's why the genetics didn't work. That's why he would have saw me as a fucking idiot because I wasn't his. So he doesn't mm-hmm. see me as that. He sees me as something else. He sees me as this dark fucking horrible secret. I start to embrace that. Darkness, that poison, that horribleness. Mm-hmm. That's what you are, Alan. You're a fucking idiot. And you're a horrible person. Society hates you, hates people like you. Hang on. Oh, oh, who's fucking, who's asking me what I am? What do I want? <laughs> what do I want to fucking be? I've got to carry the baggage and carry the can for everything else. Aye. It's no fair. I and mean, it was never fair. I mean, we spoke about this earlier and I mentioned it earlier. It's simple, like, like someone saying to you, you're just like that bastard up the road. That's it. And you think to yourself, He's a, he's a fucking alcoholic. He's an arsehole. And the last time I seen him, he was punching your person. I'm not like that. I don't need day-day things. Me. What the fuck are you on about? I'm just like that arsehole up the road. You know what I mean? It's fucking but mad. It's, it's, it's mad. It's, it's as we are, we we embrace it to a certain degree. Mm. And we take it in and we actually start Aye. questioning it ourselves. And that's you know, that lonely place. The lonely place is me... Oh, I, I create the prison. Mm-hmm. I've got the demons, I batter the demons. And then oh. now and again, it's like, oh, I'll go in and I'll open one of the cells up and like fucking move over. Oh. And I'll just go and sit in there. And it, see the way I describe it? Uh-huh. If you had empathy, you would see where I am and you would see the darkness that's in my eyes when I'm mm-hmm. telling you that what I would do and I would go and I'd climb in there and I would just shut the fucking door. I didn't want to be amongst fucking mm-hmm. idiots that will swally shite on a daily basis and walk amongst people that's walking on their hands and talking to their fucking ass. Yeah. People didn't question them. We had the conversation earlier. There's various outlets that will say things and other people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how can you not fucking see that what you're doing is wrong? It's Aye. no right. That lonely place that I would go, and I found myself in there a long, long time, and I've sacrificed so much in my fucking life to that. Where I talk about, mm-hmm. again, it's the theory versus the reality. So you've got the theory test, you've got the practical. The theory mm-hmm. is that I'm talking to you about me spending a lot of time in a dark cell, shutting myself out for life. The practical is that I spend 28 years sporadically, mm-hmm. though continually, in thought and in action. So if I'm taking a 28-year lie to the zoo, to the park, mm-hmm. out for something to eat, doing to McDonald's, what am, I, what am I doing? I'm missing out on the other three, mm-hmm. on the 25-year relationship that I've built up with my wife. Yep. They're missing out on something where I'm perpetuating a lie. I'm continuing with a fucking lie. I didn't even know it's a lie. Why? Because well, the no. liars, when they tell you it's a lie, on why? Because you might react. Why would they react? Because you're horrible. Because you're uh. nasty. Because you're violent. Because you're this, that, and that. But I'm no. You're making that fucking up. I'm <laughs> not making this up. If you didn't lie to me, I wouldn't get frustrated. I didn't get angry. Uh. You, you, you've had the conversation. When I'm yeah. angry, boom. Lights are off. Why? Because Alan's going away into that wee cell and he shut the door and he's no letting you fucking in. Because uh, that's where I would go. Yeah. So I'd sit there quiet as fuck, say nothing, inside. Whole uh, new kettle of fish. When I'm animated, 
everybody sees that as oh, he's fucking angry. He's no, he's yeah. frustrated. That's all it is. Yeah. When the fucking animal is at the cage and he's fucking shaking the doors, because he wants to open the fucking door, he'll be fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> simple, <laughs> simple logic. Simple. Simple. simple, simple. So, doodles, hundreds of them. You've yeah. shared quite a few on TikTok. What do you want to happen to them? Say, no, no. say fucking bolt of lightning, you're gone tomorrow. Yep. Are they just to be parked on a shelf by the bobs? No, no, I want one, one to do, well, the bobs can have them, yeah, ah. as a reminder of me, but I, I would love them to be like people like you. Mm-hmm. You get them, because then you can go on a journey inside a place that nobody else gets to go. Yeah. Nobody gets in there. If I, I, I gave Andrew that wee one, ah. because ah. it wouldn't work for me, James. I, I tried, and you can, uh-huh. you know, he'll show you doodles that's in it. There's maybe a couple that are in there, and they work. Because when we went through it to meet him, and I mm-hmm. knew I was going to do it because I needed him to do the same thing. Yeah. He's going to use it because it's it's getting in touch with something that's the subliminal side of your mind. It's the yeah. dark side of the moon that you didn't know that's there. So if you just kind of sit there, stare at the page, stare at the page, just move the pen a bit, you'll see the childlike drawings. Mm-hmm. And then there'll be something that comes through and you're like, whoa, hang uh-huh. on a minute, I don't know yeah. where that comes from. Same thing. If I give you one of the books and you took it away and you looked at it and looked and looked, you're guaranteed that if you were to you know, spot the one that you mm-hmm. think, well, you know, like when they talk about crystals, Aye. you go in, you didn't pick the crystal, it picks you. Picks it's you. all this moon baby stuff and that's Aye. fine, Aye. I get Aye. that. I, I totally get anybody that's spiritual, fucking spot on. I, and I'm sure I'd, if I didn't do a TikTok, the whole thing for me would be, say we've got five guys, all of different denominations. So mm-hmm. you say... Well, I'm James, and I'm a Muslim. I believe in the Quran, and I believe in Allah. Uh-huh. I'm Alan. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I'm fucking Ganesh. I believe in whatever. Uh-huh. The one thing is, you put on the end of it is a label. Aye. We don't do labels. We don't do it. Aye. I believe. Boom. Done. Stop. What? I believe. That's Aye. it. You believe in something out with this normality. Because this isn't normal. No. The reality that we live in is conduced and concocted by man. Why? So you get on the fucking wheel. You get on that merry-go-round until mm-hmm. you feel sick enough to come off it. And if you're fucking good enough, I'll let you back on. But they want to go back on. It makes me sick. Shut your fucking mouth and just as your tail. <laughs> get out of the class because you just see it as a disruption. Uh-huh. If I gave you one of them and you were to just go like that and flick, I'm telling you, it's, it's like the pick a card, any card, any card. Aye, aye, aye. You'll flick it. You'll pick the picture that's no, not done by me, as I've shown you. Mm-hmm. I've done that doodle, and it, it, it led to that. Yeah. Amazing. But yeah. how do you rewind that to the, the concept of me drawing that doodle? Because I never mm-hmm. drew the doodle for you to do that. No. But somehow it did. So then I questioned myself, and I, well, did I know that that was going to happen? The other side would say to me, Shut your face, silly cunt. You're not supposed to know. Uh. Good. So if, if you say to me, so Alan, what about if uh, you could see into the future? If I gave you this magic pound, you could see the future. Would you take it? I'd say, no. 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 How fucking boring would that be? <laughs> Big life's about excitement. It's no knowing. That's the beauty of it uh. for me. And that's, that's no, that is directly for the tinfoil hat. What is out there? What is beyond this? Are we that fucking smart that we think that we're the only intelligent how can uh, we be intelligent and when see, we still kill each other? Oh, no. For what? Because somebody told me to do it, man. Uh, and I've seen that, the, the, the one that you put on TikTok for me where my birthday's in the, like the sewer, if you like. It's in the drain. It was before I was still in Shit Creek. Yeah. I had to get out of Shit Creek before we could crack on to the next bit of it. And that, that was... But that's where I'm Because that's what I was sitting thinking about. It. I was sitting thinking about it. I'm like, how the fuck is that? That's my birthday. It's, uh, it's what we did, albeit there's extras on that one. And it, it's fucking. Well, it's aye. right on the top. It is on there. the top. It keeps fucking had shouting. You out at earlier me. in the other one. But when you look at it, because I do, I want you to put that in a frame. Aye. For anybody that can see for a distance, you'll see there that there is the Ferris wheel. Yeah. You're the one that's saying the wheel within a wheel within a wheel. No, you come off one wheel and you've got a second. You're on the third phase. I never draw this knowing that I knew I was going to meet you. I couldn't, you know. How could I? If you were to study that, like I say, you'll see a lot more. A lot more. With the no entry thing. I Mm. never let anybody inside my mind. Well, who did you let in? You let me into your fucking mind. 
But I was inside your mind after the conception of this drawing. The parent guardian thing that was doing my nothing the other day as well, because <laughs> the, the the wheel, the parent guardian, the cage, and then I'm at this point I'm still doing there. Try to, I've got to get out. I of don't the, think that nah, you're not doing there now. <sighs> no, no, I'm not there now. I've got out of there and we we cracked on and he's. He's there. <laughs> That's it. He's he's yeah, live. He, yeah, he's live. It's and it's he's no amazing. he's no longer. He's evolved aye. for his cell because mm. that was the original piss off. Aye. Uh, cruel world. Cruel world. Aye. And where do you go for there? You go there to find, to find in the self. And it's there. It's every every brick that's there. The idiot, the stupid, the fool, the tramp. They're all repetitive. They're all it's there. the same fucking thing. Stay out in the entry. All of these things. I, I, I mean, again, mm. when I flick into these. Because I would be all the wee man, yeah. Because he become this wee thing, and there's there's a plant. Look at the plant. The what one around? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 it's there. The mm -hmm. plant's there. There's a bus stop. What is it? What would I say? The game's up the pole. Up the a, pole. You'll see a lamp post in the mall. No, a pair of trainers up there. It's <laughs> just it's a weird thing, and I know it's a weird thing, but every right. one of them is the same. And the girls, I didn't go out and buy these wee books to do it. The girls will buy me them. So this right. one here. Was a, a a book token. We went in, and I thought, let's let's fucking have a look and see what they've got in there. Aye. So we bought it, and the, 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 well, you can see everything that's I in there. See, aye, aye. Look, it's all shite, and it's the same wee guy. <laughs> There's his mask, his fucking glasses. COVID nineteen coming to telly, aye. conservative, the Labour Party, uh, Instagram. It's all falling. Look, Dump it, it's all in the skip because it's all shite. And then you go to that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at that, again, it's no good for the camera, camera if anyone's right. watching. But there's so much going on in that one wee thing. And this here is near a keyhole, but it forms a keyhole that lets you see what's behind it. What's behind so it? if you're looking at what's behind it, and that looks like normality, that looks like who sees and everything mm -hmm. else, what's this? And where are you to be looking through, looking back through the keyhole at life? You're on the other side. I know, and these are like the strands for the, for the seeds. Mind that one, though. It's like yeah. they're, they're prominent in quite a few as well. Eh? I, I did them all Aye. the time, honestly. Again, I, I'd look at them and I'd, I'd say, what the fuck are you talking about there, Alan? <laughs> there's there's the, the, the three-headed snake, the flats, yeah. the high flats, that's the scheme. Yeah. It's just cutting the head off it. Just get it fucking gone. The cycle Aye. is here. It just, it's perpetual. Everything's perpetual and it's breaking its back because that there... Is them snapping it and the lies into the bucket and into the, into the, pail. the, the pail because the lies are breaking it all down. They're, they're pulling it down for us again. You could spend fucking days in them. Aye, and that, that to me, where would I want them to go? I'd want mm. me to go to somebody that could look at them and get something for them because get you some. would get it. Mm -hmm. And it, no, if somebody say, I, I remember um, Tom, uh, who was the counselor in the grey area. Uh -huh. um, Tom, he's, he's Canadian, he's a stand-up comic Tom stayed, great guy, a funny guy And uh, he had said to me, oh blah 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 no, Take on a gallery and put and said, no, uh, no, the pictures and they No, it's not that And he had said, Alan, it's you People would want to see you And that uh -huh. was that was the start of the whole process Because it was him, there was Morag There was other ones And then it was led me doing the, the, the mental health thing I thought mm -hmm. I'd do that and obviously I was wanting to chase that on and do something with that. And all these people... That I think even I had a go at you about that by saying, why are you sitting on this? Why are you yeah. sitting on this? You know, you've got... There's you, the character, that would push all of that to another level, man. Mm. <laughs> and I've often wondered why you sit on it, but you sit on it. It's that's a, fine. It's that's your call. Eh? And that's the thing. It's not eh? that I sit on it. Eh? It's just that I, I don't have a... A want and purpose. You don't have the want. I were back to it's, it's, it's a key word of the day. The want, hundred percent. I didn't want to benefit for it. Uh -huh. If say you says to me, Alan, I could fucking sell that, uh -huh. James. Go and you sell it then. Uh -huh. I could make you money off of that. I didn't want you to make me money. If you want to go make money, you go make money. I didn't uh -huh. want the money off it. Again, if there was a trinket and a bobble that come off of anything that I've ever done, then fine, I would take it, but I will not go out there and sell it because it's yeah. no for sale. I've already paid the price. I own this shit. This is yeah. mine. It's all original. There's nothing here. And when I say that society and life, there is nothing that hasn't been done before. See, mm -hmm. everything I've just showed you has no. never been done before. Never been done. Nobody's yeah. ever told me this story, and that's why the tinfoil hat is time to mm. let's have the talk because... I've carried this for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And when you say to me, first podcast, who am I sitting in front of? 
Aye. You now have a different understanding of who you are in front of because totally it's, different. it's that evolutionary thing. Aye. I am, if I was being asked the chimera, mm. I will change every time the chameleon, I will change every time, but it's an evolutionary step. So mm. I have to be ready to open. You have to be asking me the right questions because I mm. wouldn't volunteer it. It just doesn't happen like that. Mm. If I go into the shrink and the shrink says, right, tell me. It's a bit too fucking easy, is it not? <laughs> if I Aye. tell you, I could tell anybody. Aye. Your design is to open me. And Aye. you, I mean, it doesn't matter that there'll be a camera or a radio or whatever it is. Aye. For some reason, you triggered something that allowed me to say, right, okay, you ready? Aye. Buckle up, punk. Here it comes. <laughs> and now you're getting it all. Aye. And now you, by choice, I'm mm -hmm. deciding to share it. It's not me. I'm not sharing fuck all. Because I didn't own this microphone. The Aye. only thing I own is this. What can I hear? I can hear my own fucking Your voice. voice. So none of it's mine. Very clever. For yours. <laughs> of course it's clever, <laughs> but it's reverse psychology because it's you that's doing it. I'm not doing Aye. anything. So if you say to me, I can know. Well, can you can't be looking for money because neither am I. That's the thing. Can he? Can he? Couldn't so, he do it? I, I wouldn't sleep, James. I honestly uh, would not fucking sleep. When you had said to me originally that you had somebody that was maybe wanting to take you to school, so that would work. Uh, if I could get them early, get them young, and don't fucking uh, accept abuse in any form. It's funny that, because that whole thing was, wasn't it just about, it was just we were doing this, that and that came line. about, and yeah. it was, and I was like, oh, fuck, we've got this thing we're working on. Good idea. Let's do that. And none of it transpired. It was just man talking shit. He's ass because you know? he wants something with you. They want you to buy into them. Aye. Anyway, buy into you. No. And that's I, that would be the thing. And the minute for me. I said, "Oh, I've got a thing. I'm working with a guy, and we've got this thing, and that will do really well." No interest. Gone. It's like that's the shutters came in front. That's down. it. For Aye. me, it's it has to be an organic thing. It's not yeah. going to be somebody that's coming to us and saying, "Oh, by the way, here." No, no, not yeah. going to happen. If somebody was to see it, hear it, and think, "I'm going to tell you what," they pay the idea. So they're doing mm. something that. No, everybody does it, everybody does a thing, but you look at what the stories are. Yeah. They have a story in the sense that, oh, it's no going to sell if you just get the guy that's going into mm. the, oh, I can't see that, these words. The guy that's going into the local shop to buy a pint of milk doesn't have a story. Mm. Of course he fucking does. <laughs> if he's lived this long, he has a story. How did you survive? How did you get here? I can tell you, means I can map it out for you. Mm. I grew up in Shit Creek. Shit Creek is what is a... A euphemism for hell, in mm. my mind. What's in hell, Alan? Well, it's everything that I've listed before. There's no point going on about it. And how do you um, master that? How do you climb on top of it? Well, easily. What a day is in the in the, the deconstruction. Mm -hmm. I have what man gives me, which is the theory, and I also have the practical. So if I have been the, the victim of abuse mm -hmm. in an area, how do I then find the theory in that well? It wasn't in me, it was nothing I had done. How are you going to conquer it, Alan? Well, what I'll do is I'll draw you a picture. Mm. I'll draw you a picture of where I lived, which is in the top fucking flare, the same blocky flats uh. that happened, and I didn't go there once, I went there twice. I moved into the same house twice because there was something that I missed. So did I conquer it? You're fucking damn sure I did. Mm -hmm. Who helped you, Alan? What, what medication did you have? What did you... Nothing, mate. Nothing. Uh. Just me in a dark fucking room that I call home. Every now and again, I'll remove myself and I'll go and sit in there and every, the whole world can go fuck off. Mm. Now, you take that as a as a theoretical, psychological thing that I have a place inside my mind that I go and I shut the door and I just sit yeah. in there. Where are we right now? <laughs> You're in the same fucking place. Same place. <laughs> and that's what I've said. Theory and reality yeah. are the same thing in my mind. They just happen to be on the same level. Yeah. So right now, I, I, originally I'd say to you, come here. If you want to see inside my head, mm. this is the closest you're going to get. You can sit in my house, but you're not going to be inside my head. You're going to be inside the, the house. The house, yeah. This is inside my mind. Everything mm. here, they books, they all come out of my mind. Where mm. are they now? They're sitting on the table in the garage, which is the cell that I can look myself in mm -hmm. and shut the world outside. And I think that's a creative place, not just with whatever in you do. Because even coming here and just shooting the shit, it's just so easy in here. I don't know why it's not. There's nothing jumps out at me. It's just there. That's you, it. you know, it's just it's, a blending of the background because. It, but that's what my life has always been. If you aye. were to, if you were to come in and just oh wow look aye. at that oh look at that look at that you're distracted. Aye. Distracted. Whereas I'm no, I'm mm. not a distraction. I'm no anything. Every every asshole that's come into my life has saw me as something else. They have mm. 
a, a portrayal of what it is that they should be sitting in front of type of thing. Whether it's, he's a fucking idiot, mm. or oh, he's a daft cunt. It, it, they were always derogative in a sense. And I'll paint that picture myself because I don't mind. I don't have any qualms about what somebody else thinks about me. I'm no out to impress any cunt. At 52, and to have got to where I am, Aye. you can fuck off with your opinions. I don't <laughs> with the care. shit you've had to paddle oh, through. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I learnt how to wash my hands in an easy way. Have I got scars? Yes, I've got scars. Have yeah. I got mental scars? Couple, but they're, they're healed. They're all healed up now. There's nothing there that can damage me in any fucking way, shape, or form. Mm. I've faced everything and I've faced it all on my own. So, right now, you can sit in here. Why? Because you're inside my head. And where mm. is it, James? It's a comfortable place where nothing jumps out at you. There's no, no. bogeyman, there's no scariness, there's no fuck all. And you understand it. Why? Because you listened to the noise before you painted the picture. Mm. You've, you've, you saw inside my head and you are now physically inside my head and he's like, you know what, there's nothing bad in here. No. None at all. No, no, There's all. weapons in here. Uh -huh. there's, there's countless weapons. There's fucking axes galore. Aye. There's fucking everything in here. There's a lot of weapons if you chose to use them as a weapon. Aye. I didn't see them as weapons. No, it's the just... tools, the tools that should scare man are inside my fucking head. Yeah. That's as simple as it is. You're inside my head right now in the garage. The tools are there, but the yeah. other ones are in here. Man can't see them. When I go, if I walk out with that bayonet and that hammer and that hammer, that's, that's fair enough. If I go into the sharp books, you'll see mere mm. sharpness in there. Yeah. Hide it off in my girls. There's a knife up there that I've always wanted to hand into the police. I keep it uh, up there because my girls can't kind of get to it. Aye. Then he want them seeing that seeing kind that. of stuff. And I didn't want society having it. Yeah. And this, see, coming here and doing the podcast here and doing your story here and the, the finding, se finding the self, it, it changed what I wanted for a podcast. Because remember when we first spoke about it, all right, I'm going to hire this place and we'll go there weekly and we'll do this and we'll do that. All completely the wrong fucking thing to do. Yeah. And then look at what we've done, you and I, together with this podcast thing, mm -hmm. is we've took it to G's front room. Yeah. We took it to the Beans Man's front room. The authenticity of that is priceless. It's taking it to that person and their, you know, their cage, so to speak. That works. 100%. It's, it, it, it's just in my head priceless. What, what was that? To have a, a like, like other podcasts, there's there's one, uh, Riley's Gaff, where they go somewhere. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's a different pod, type of podcast so, anyway. Again, you, you just, just move your seat, move change your, seat. your perspective. Aye. Look at that. It's called mm. building barriers. Building What's barriers. It, what is the yeah. reverse of building barriers? It's deconstructing, deconstructing barriers. Them, Where yeah. are you going to be the most comfortable deconstructing barriers? In your own In your own place. This yeah. is my own place. Mm. But it's no, because you now see that it's a comfortable place for you. So inside mm. my head is, is actually fine. It's, it's not fucking bad. Mm. So you're saying, oh, I don't think you're delusional. I could agree with you. Uh -huh. I never ever said I was. Society did. Society did, yeah. The thoughts... Yes, they, they may seem outwardly rather strange, mm -hmm. but you've just heard the biggest part of them, and you think, well, oh yeah, although you have that excuse that there is that, historically, you're not the first guy to have fucking crazy thoughts. Genius yeah. comes from crazy fucking thoughts, because the mm -hmm. guy that invented the wheel, they must have thought, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, but watch, but what, get the fuck, fuck uh. off, go on, away you go, what you been smoking? Uh. Every one of them has come up with the same idea over and over and over again. But man, if he spots that it's real, he'll take it. He'll manipulate him, he'll take it, and then he'll say he's an asshole. Mr. Tesla, I'm sure he says he was a fucking idiot. Sure. He was a smart man, yes. Mm -hmm. Was he the guy that could have given away free power? Yes. What happened? The uh -huh. manipulator come along. Mr. fucking J.P. Morgan and all these horrible bastards that say, you want to do what? Well, I've got to give away free electricity. <laughs> How much is that worth? <laughs> no happening, pal. No happening. Then he did nothing for nothing. No chance. Nobody, man. And that's it. No, the, uh. the easiest abbreviation to work out now is that it's a manipulator and a narcissist. That's what a man is. He has to be the two in one. Uh -huh. And that, to me, I've worked on that for years and years. I could never, ever put them together. And it was just the other day that I'd done the TikTok. I said, look, somebody help me. Somebody reach out and just say to me, what is this? It's a fucking simple thing. It's only mm -hmm. three letters to make up one word. I've given them God, which is the giver of divinity. Mm -hmm. Something gave me the divine right. Something planted that seed inside my head. It doesn't matter. 
that it's a hairy faced man in a cloud. It doesn't matter what Aye. fucking colour he is, what many harems he's got, whether he come out of a fucking spaceship. It does not matter. The belief is the one that matters to me because I believe in something beyond this. And when you show me everything that society has, everything that man's done, I need something more than that. And yeah. that's where the belief comes from. I believe in something beyond this. Because this is shite. This is absolute fucking shite. Why is it shite, Alan? Because I grew up in Shit Creek, so I know what shite looks like. I know what it smells like. And fucking fuck me, I know what it tastes like. <laughs> 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 when you eat, breathe, and fucking okay. sleep, it, it becomes part of you. Uh-huh. So the delusional mind, yes, it creates something beyond this. And there's, there is nothing wrong with that. Because when mm. you take religion and how many people believe in that to an extent that they alter their life and their outlook on life, who told you? Oh, the book. Yeah. How much of the book's there? Well, there's only like 18 stories missing. All right, and you reckon you can weld it together with all the bits missing. I remember when I found out that the, the Apocrypha was part of the Bible. Mm. And I said, well, what's that? Well, that's the stories that they took out. Excuse me. <laughs> so you're telling me that the jigsaw is missing five critical parts, so I don't uh-huh. have the whole picture. You can stick it where the sun don't shine then, my boy. Uh-huh. I'm not interested. I don't care. It's Again, it's that same thing where I'm saying to you, the Royal Family Great Institute brings hundreds. No, Piers Morgan will fucking stand up for them <laughs> because they bring so much uh-huh. money in and the queen, the dear old queenie and da, da, da. Let's all salute. There is a chicken in the coop. Aye, yeah, and it's a mm. rotten chicken that's laying shitty eggs, and it's called Andrew. Andrew mm. pays you all his money. His brother bails him out, and mummy will bail him out, and da, da, da. Why don't you put him to the front of the queue? Why? Because he's a representative of you. And if you are willing to accept that as part of, yes, mm. let's get the bunting out. Sorry, no for me. When I was younger, I was told, you fly with the crows, you get shot with the crows. Yep. The Vatican. Is a great thing and everybody loves it and everybody adheres to it and they know the Pope is the Almighty, the guy with the O2 one calls with uh, the big man himself up there, you know, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. But some of his main men have been proven to be paedophiles yeah. and tamperers of young little innocent children. Mm. Sorry, pal, you fly with the crows, you get shot, man. You just can all fuck off. Correct. And that's my aim mind that makes mm-hmm. it up. So. Back to your original, under the tinfoil hat is exactly what is there. Everybody can fuck off until you can prove to me that what you're saying and what you're selling is 100% legitimate. And if it was legitimate, you wouldn't be selling it. You'd be giving it away. You'd be giving it away. And there concludes and just the lesson. The lesson. Tinfoil um, hat's done. I'm just going to hit it. Big owls. <laughs> Tales from under the tinfoil <laughs> hat. <laughs> Great, man. Good. Great. So... I think that's us. We're an hour and a bit, so let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, that was fun. It was. It was actually. I, can't, I keep saying the same at the end of every fucking thing. That was amazing. That was time travel. Because it fucking is. Bizarre. Very bizarre. Aye. Very bizarre. That's How no quick me. was that? That's it. Fucking brilliant. And that's that's why I'll watch it again because again it's like Dana drawing. Oh. I didn't even know what the fuck happened there. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else took over. Yes, it's you. It's high ho silver away. Toodle pip and tin file hat talks over. <laughs> Adios, amigo. <laughs> Brilliant.